Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to all who have gathered here at St. Michael's Church as we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Please stand as you are able and let us join together in song.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess from my regard and to you, my brother and sister, that I have great sin in my past and in my words and what I have done and what I have felt to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Spirit of all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sister, to pray for me to our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. By descending into the world, the world of truth, and the spirit of the salvation sanctification, may know the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in the prophecy and the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity and the eternal glory, and adore your unity, unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who listen right with you, and you the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did? and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself 
from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord, your God, is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, O power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> All Catholics we have in our DNA, once we receive baptism, the concept of the Holy Trinity as something so natural that we do not conceive any other idea outside of it. All of us, all of our faith is configured, has configured in a Trinitarian form, the sign of the cross, which once means death, today means life, from north to south. You sometimes get north to south. When you turn the earth, what is the north, what is the south? Nobody knows. But the most important is north to south. And from the east to west. Our very called faith toward God, the Father, and the Son. And horizontal toward the Holy Spirit. The mystery that Jesus Christ has revealed to us in the transfiguration. And that, thanks to the Holy Spirit, we can understand it from faith. What happened? Because it's a mystery. The Holy Trinity, one God and three persons, expresses unity and singularity. It's very crazy. Three in one. Three persons, one God. Our faith has no meaning without the sign of the cross. Even the not Catholic people, the Christian people, they had a cross, the sign. But only the Catholic sign us, our body, the cross. When we work in the morning, all we say is the cross, sign us, because we live. When we went or go to the table to eat, we bless the food, the sign of the cross. When you cross in front of the cemetery, we sign out with the cross in front of the church. Everywhere, every time, every moment, the cross is our sign. <coughs> and always remind us we believe inside the Holy Trinity because it's our faith. In the gospel, Jesus said, go. It's a mandatory. It's a commitment. Go. Jesus never say, well, you think if you want to go, it's no one to go. It's go. It's different when the child, when the youth say to the little boy, please go to the bakery and buy something for me. And the child's boy say, what? They don't think it's, I want to go. Why? My time, my grandma. When the sage he says, go, it must to go. <laughs> it must to go. And this is a little different time. We had a different time. We, uh, you know that I, am, I spent a lot of time in my life, in the preschool life, in the mission around the world, 
Africa, Argentina, Europe. And so many times we have to baptize. I remember in my country, 300 ch children, 300 in one mass, 300 kids to baptize. In Africa, six years ago, I think it was 2016, 30 in one mass, 30 children, three kids, three hours in mass. And remember when the child 300 cry aloud, rah, rah, rah. it's a loud noise in the church. But you must to focus. What is your mission? To hear the cry aloud the children or to baptize? What is your mission? Because you must to take care. Because if you not have patience inside you, say, Goodbye, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do not resist the children. Cry aloud. You must to keep in your mind, Jesus said to you, go, go, go. And baptize. I remember sometimes happiness is my experience. The children cry aloud, cry, cry, okay, let us start. Go. And, uh, and I remember in the moment when the, the last kid, the last children, the family go around in the second place, the little boy turned like a sleeping, quiet, silently. But when I, we, when I, tried to baptize and put in the holy water, I think that the little guy, the little children, opened one eye like this. <laughs> and, they, and the name of the, move the head, the name of the father, the son, the children said, move, they move. I can baptize the children. Because it's moving. Man. No crying, but no taking quiet. I remember I had to take a take the, the parent, please, holding it. Holding, fit in one place. And when the, I try and the children look up again, and the parent holding fast, very hard, and then finally heard, <laughs> <laughs> and I did. I baptized you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's very, very, in my heart, it's about, I did. I fulfilled a mission. And I feel it good. I felt good because I fulfilled the mission that Jesus said, go and baptize. And I did. In Africa. In Rome, I perform in wedding. And everywhere, because it's our mission. Our mission. We can do it. Because we receive the commitment. In our heart has to be grateful. When you put your children, your grandson, in the baptismal found, Jesus said to you, thank you. Because you fulfilled your mission to go to the church and baptize and receive the grace is our faith. Our perfect praise could have no conclusion if we did not direct it by giving glory to be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And blessing well received, although it may be individual in each of the divine person or the Holy Trinity, regularly ends, may God bless you. Even when that you are grand Godfather or Godmother, you must to say, may God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, the all the invisible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten from God, consistent of the Father, through him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation. He came down to the heaven. May the Holy Spirit was in front of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and was crucified. He suffered a death and was buried. And rose again on the third day. And according to the scriptures, he ascended into the heaven. And was seated in the right hand of the Father. He will come again and will go into judgment and live in the dead. And as a king of heaven, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken with the cross. I believe in one of all the Catholic the soul of the Church. I confess the baptism of the forgiven and the sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our petition to God. that the church on earth may be drawn together to reflect the perfect unity of the Trinity, the community of divine love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who direct human society and frame our laws may submit to the commandments of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who are slaves to fear may find the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through a new evangelization, we may bring non-believers to faith and baptism in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in holy vocations to the priesthood, and religious life in the Diocese of St. Cloud. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our departed brothers and sisters may be raised into the glory of the Holy Trinity, especially for the living and deceased members of the Schweders family, for whom this Mass is offered, and Laverne Johnson, who passed away recently. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions today offered in silent prayer. For all of these needs, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, listen our petition in the name of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
brothers and sisters must sacrifice and yours. Maybe a sacrifice to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation and our service, and by the it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to all our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. How are doing our salvation? Oh, we sing every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with you, only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord. Now in the unity of the single person, but in the trinity of the one who stands. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally for your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confession of the truth and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and sustenance, their equality and majesty. For this is praised in angels by the archangels, cherubim too, and seraphim. So never see to cry out each day, as with one voice, they are claim. Holiness may holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon the light that you fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. From the time he was betrayed, we entered willingly into his passion, into bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be giving up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, and one more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice in my blood. The blood of the new eternal covenant, which will proud for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, a breast of life with a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have killed us worthy to be in your presence and ministered through you. Humbly we, humbly we pray that partaking of the body of Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. 
remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Heather, our Bishop, and other clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of our resurrection and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. At mercy on us, all we pray. Dealt with the blessed, Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph of Paul, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry you to be coeducated in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and within and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all of yours forever and ever. the Savior's command from the divine teacher we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant this in our day, but help us at your mercy. We may be all you free from sins and safe from all distress, as we are with our blessed hope and the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, this is our apostle. Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look now our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, unity, unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and never. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other in a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of the God, behold him who takes away the other thing the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but the only say of the word of my soul shall be
let us pray. May we receive in this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul, as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity in undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Announcement for today. Next Sunday is Corpus Christi Sunday. Weather permit, St. Michael will be having a Corpus Christi Eucharist procession around the church. Say around the church. I've got the corner. <laughs> no, it has around the parking lot. Okay, this is with a 4 p.m. mass. And St. Joseph will have one around the block. And that's uh, the 11th Mass, Spanish Mass. Even if you can't make those two Masses, time we, you are welcome to join us in the processing afterwards. From the June 26th to 27th, Father Doug, our vocation director, is hosting a non-run. Non-run. Sounds good, non-run. <laughs> For, June, for, for the June ladies, from junior years in high school to the mid-20s, uh, who, who are open uh, to vocation to the religious life, they will be visiting multiple, multiple, multiple convents around Minnesota. Info about the registration is on the flyers and the bulletin board. They will be a uh, blood drive here in St. Michael, June 17th, from the noon at 6 p.m. Please sign up if you request blood talk or to call the offices to want to offer you blood. The, uh, the Memorial Day's Mass will be held in the St. Joseph Cemetery, weather permitting, with the rosary at 8 a.m. presentation colors and uh, 8 15 a.m. and the Mass beginning at 8 30 a.m. All are welcome. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.